Hi guys, um, today we will be looking at the structure of human gas exchange. So you need to be able to describe how the human gas exchange system is arranged and explain the functions of the human gas exchange system. So looking at the spec, we are here. Okay, so the gross uh, structure and the uh, adaptations of the gas exchange system. Right? So why the volume of absorbed oxygen and remove carbon dioxide uh, are large in mammals, right? This is because those organisms uh, have a, a large uh, volume of living cells and uh, they need to maintain a high body temperature, which is related to high metabolic rate. Okay, so this is the uh, structure of gas exchange. We will be looking at this. So we've got internal intercostal muscles. Okay, we've got external intercostal muscles. We've got then our rib cage. We've got lungs, and we've got diaphragm. So let's quickly match uh, those uh, those labels. What's what? So diaphragm. Okay, it's a large uh, sheet of muscle. Uh, it is a large uh, large muscles a muscle found under our uh, lungs rib cage okay uh, lifts up and out uh, when we breathing in to increase the volume of chest cavity external intercostal muscles okay they will contract to pull the ribs upwards when we breathing in and then uh, internal intercostal muscles they will contract to uh, pull the ribs downwards when we breathe out right so the lungs then okay uh, what are they? So they, they have a specialized surface. They are site of efficient gas exchange between blood and air. They are located inside. And why would they be located inside? Because air is not dense enough to support and protect uh, those uh, specific delicate structures. And the body as a whole would lose a great deal of water and dry out if they weren't inside. Right? So quickly, we go through every single um, structure. Rib cage, it's a bony box, and ribs uh, can be moved uh, by muscles between them. And lungs uh, ventilated uh, by a tidal stream of air. So that means that we can make sure that air is constantly replaced. So the lungs, of course, we've got a pair of them. They are made of uh, highly branched uh, tubules, bronchioles. Then they end in tiny uh, sacs called alveoli. And of course, this is the place when the gas exchange between the blood and uh, alveoli is taking place. There is a large surface area provided by many alveoli and they are in close contact with the bloodstream. So provide a short diffusion pathway. Right, trachea then. Uh, windpipe so why is it important of course it's a flexible airway it's supported by rings and uh, and they the 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 they prevent the trachea collapsing okay so that's similar like we did with the insects they were made of the segments okay to prevent collapse same here and tracheal walls are made of muscles lined with the ciliated epithelium and couplet cells so that's another adaptation bronchi then we've got two of them okay so those are divisions of the so this is your trachea those are the bronchi so they will lead to the lungs so they've got quite similar structure to trachea they produce mucus and have cilia and of course they are supported by the uh, cart uh, cartilage so they by the rings to uh, to uh, to make sure uh, that they don't collapse as well Bronchioles then, so the further extensions, okay, subdivisions of the bronchi. The walls are made of muscles lined with epithelial cells and um, muscles allow them to control flow of uh, in and out of the alveoli. Finding the alveoli, so those are the tiny air sacs. We've got, uh, we got many of them that are one cell thick. So uh, alveolar membrane is uh, the gas exchange surface. Uh, we find them at the end of bronchioles. 
adaptations now. So provide the huge surface area to the volume ratio, making gas exchange really effective. And as you can see on the picture, there are many blood capillaries around them, so they provide a short diffusion pathway. Another adaptation, they align with epithelium, so they are thin. And a collagen and elastic fibers are found between alveoli, so allow them to stretch. So remember when you're breathing in, the volume of the lungs uh, increases and uh, this is uh, adaptation for it so they can stretch. And then, uh, the breathing out then what happens to this alveoli is uh, kind of spring back. Okay, so the uh, elastic fibers and collagen allow them to do so. Right, stand for our so what table, so features of the lungs and the adaptation. So, really important for your revision, something that you must know. Okay, so many alveoli with folded walls, so provide large surface area, many capillaries, so provide a large surface area, many capillaries again, so short diffusion pathway, fast diffusion. Alveoli and capillary walls are thin, so short distance between them. Flat and epithelium, so short diffusion pathway, fast diffusion, and ventilation, circulation, that will maintain concentration gradient for uh, so fast diffusion can take place. And that's everything for the uh, structure of the human gas exchange.